Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to cook fried rice noodles and I have my ingredients with me. I'm going to show you what are those. Okay, I have portobello mushroom. I have green beans or French beans and carrot bell pepper and few spices that I'm going to use plus the meat that I have marinated I'm going to tell you how much all those things are Okay, everybody, this is now the fun part of my cooking, my rice noodles. Okay, I'm going to introduce you the, the ingredients of my, my fried rice no, no, the ingredients of my fried noodles. Okay, this is my noodles. Okay, these are the vegetables that I want to, that I want to mix into my 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 noodles and this is the meat this is pork and this is the spices garlic shallots small onions the olive oil the dark soy sauce and salt and sugar okay Take note guys, I don't use condiments or any kind of special thing for my cooking because I only use simple ingredients. Okay, so there are two ways on how to prepare the rice noodles. You can soak it ahead of time or you can boil it. For my part, I'm going to boil my rice noodles. So. I'm going to pour the hot water into the pot that I have already boiled, okay? Here you go, I'm going to pour the water. Okay. Usually, when you boil the rice noodles, you are going to put a little salt in the water and a little oil in it to make your noodles a little chewy. But it depends to the noodles. There are those noodles that is really chewy when you cook, but you have to make sure that your noodles are not overcooked or else it will be very, very soft and it will be very very saggy okay so now the water is boiling I didn't put salt into the water because I have enough salt into my condiments so I'm going to put the 400 grams of rice noodles into the water it's 400 grams even me and my husband are only here because I'd, I'd love to eat rice noodles, fried rice noodles. That's why I cook extra. Okay. So, you need to stir that like that in order for the rice noodles to be separated. And allow time to get it cooked before you do the frying. Okay. 
Okay, friends, after a few minutes, um, the rice noodles are kind of soft already. But since I'm going to still fry this with the rest of the ingredients, this is already enough. Not going to do to overdo that. Okay. So I need to drain the water. Okay, so I'm going to pour my rice noodles there. And I need to put the cold water right away. So that the pasty stuff will be removed from the rice noodles. Okay. 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 So I reheat my pan. I love to use this pan. So I will fry my rice noodles in there. First, as, as a general rule, you have to heat up the pan. When the pan is heated, then you need to put the oil. Okay, now my pan is heated. I'm going to put my very little one teaspoon or one tablespoon olive oil. Okay, after it's heated, I'm going to put the shallots. Most of the people, they use the garlic first, but this time, because this is shallot, is stronger than the garlic. So I need to put the shallots first. Next is the garlic. Take note, ladies and gentlemen, the oil is not much at the bottom. We, as much as possible, we try to minimize using so much oil because we just want to be healthy. Even if it's olive oil, it doesn't matter. Doesn't mean that you can put lots and lots of oil there. There you go. Next to that, I'm going to put my marinated, marinated meat. Let it cook for a while. Okay, the meat is getting cooked. Right? 
Just make sure that it's fully cooked, okay? And look at that, my meat, the meat in here, here, it's like that, small, not big chunk. I covered the meat to make sure that it's totally cooked. Okay, the smell of the meat is already cooked. So, I'm going to put everything in one time. These are all in the same sizes. So, and all of them are vegetables. So, I'm going to put everything in one time. Just want to make sure that it won't spill outside of the pan. Look at that, inside the pan is colorful. Okay, so just keep on stirring until the vegetable will get cooked. I'm going to cover that to make it faster. So now I almost uh, mix everything. It's time for me to put my soy sauce and a little salt and sugar. Some people they prefer their noodles to be light color and some people they prefer their noodles to be a little darker. For me today, my version of this noodles is a little darker. This is my dark soy sauce. Okay, and my salt and sugar. don't need to cook that anymore I just need mixing and reheat a little bit 
and good to go. Okay, you just need to mix. So there you go. I just keep on mixing them and now the noodles and everything are already blended. Yeah, that's all you have to do guys. Just mix them. Okay. So I will put the heat a little bit because you just need to heat it up. Because everything is already cooked in there. Okay. You have to make sure that it won't stick or stuck be stuck at the bottom. Okay. So okay, it's already done. You see the sound, you can hear the sound. It's already cooked. Okay, and these rice noodles are ready to consume. Okay, let me try. Good. And all we need to do is to just sprinkle it, spring onions. There. And if you want, you can also sprinkle some pepper, like pepper into your good so okay guys these rice noodles are done I'm going to switch off the fire that's it okay so friends that is my noodles that I put into the plate but actually still got a lot into the pot and so yeah i'm going to have mine with kimchi and i'm so hungry that's it now and yeah don't forget to subscribe like and comment and remember guys We love you, okay?